Now, Jacob is the biggest winner in the show's history. I believe it was maybe week 13, 14, somewhere in December. Matt Prater kicked a field goal. Jacob won thousands of dollars. Make sure you watch the video of that field goal at Overtime Locks. Welcome to Parlay Hot Seat, the show where you call in with your big parlays. And if we like them, we'll fund them. Maybe. I'm Overtime Day, and I'm joined by two sports betting venture capitalists riding with me today. Tyler Cameron, who, did you go 4-0 this weekend? Because I went 4-0. I went 2-2, two two, but have you been able to pay off a parlay yet? That's a different conversation. And Matt James, who, wait, did you go 4-0 this weekend? I did not. Did not go 4-0 this weekend. I went 4-0 this weekend. Let's get to it. Let's go. On the line, we have Jacob calling in from Detroit. Now, Jacob is the biggest winner in the show's history. I believe it was week maybe 12, 13. What week was it, Jacob? I think around then, early December, week 13. A little Matt Prater field goal, Cash's parlay. Go check out the video at Overtime Locks. Jacob, what's your parlay for us today? How are we doing, boys? We got first Chiefs to win by 1 to 13 points. We got Joe Burrow over 281 and a half passing yards. Sony Michelle, anytime touchdown store, scorer, and Rams money line. That's what we're rocking with. Looking at a Chiefs Rams Super Bowl. All right. Four legs on this parlay. Odds of plus 2,106. So $100 will pay out to over $2,200. $250 will pay out to over $5,500. Mr. Tyler Cameron, what are your thoughts on this parlay? All right. We got Joe Burrow going over 281. That's money. That's money, Jacob. Easy money. Rams money line. I like that. He's a big 49ers guy. He's not even going to want to take your bet because he likes the 49ers so much. But, uh, the one thing I have a problem with is the Sony Michelle anytime touchdown score. They get close, they give it to Stafford. They don't really give it to him too much. What do you think? So, look, I'm a Stafford guy through and through. I'm repping the, the old English D for my boy. I what Cam Makers did last week with the game on the line, almost handing the game to the Bucks, that makes me a little wary. I don't think Sony Michelle is about to turn into Marshall Folk or Steven Jackson. But if you're on the goal line and, you know, Sean McVay is thinking back to last week, I don't see him not giving a vet the, the touch. I, I love the Steven Jackson reference. That's not a name I thought I would hear today. And I do agree with you about Sony Michel Michel because I think Cam Akers is in the doghouse and Sony Michel is a pretty proven back. He's scored in the Super Bowl before. He's been around. I think he'll get some goal line touches. Matt, what are your thoughts on the parlay? <clears throat> Jacob, I'm going to start off by saying it's been a while since we've had someone on the show with – your level of intelligence. I just wanted to point that out. I think you're very intelligent. I think you're very bright. You have a very bright future ahead of you. I love these picks. There's not much on this piece of paper in front of me that I don't like because they came from you. You've done a great job curating this list for us. I think that that first pick is so spot on the money. Kansas City will win the game. It's just a matter of about how much. I don't think it'll be more than 13, but I think it'll be more than one because if they don't have more than one, then they're going to lose. So I like that delta right there. I think there's a lot of potential in there. But... No buts. No I buts. love that. I love that Joey B is going to go over 280. I was comfortable with it after hearing your explanation. No problems there. I think the Sony Michelle anytime touchdown is great. And I love the Rams money line. You want to know why I'm comfortable with these picks? You want to know why I'm comfortable with these picks, Jacob? Because you're from Detroit. The working class man. Oh and my. guess what? Guess what, Jacob? No one's watched more Matthew Stafford football in the last decade than Jacob Lutz. And I've got my trust in you because you've got your trust in, in, in Matthew Stafford. Because you've watched more, you've broken down more Matthew Stafford tape than Sean McVay. And I like that about you. You know what? Let's get, let's get straight to the bidding. Before we get straight to the bidding, because I'm going to have to knock you down a peg after that monologue right there from from matt james he's gonna knock you down a pick. just remember that jacob yep jacob just i'm remember here that. I, up. he's gonna break you down. i like the kansas city pick i like the joe shiesty over 281 i like that sony michelle i like that the rams money line talk to me I, I like the niners matt hit the nail on the head with with the matthew stafford love i am a matthew stafford guy through and through coming to la his hometown this is team of destiny type vibes the rams aren't selling tickets to niners fans you have to live in the la district to purchase tickets to the game there's not going to be any niners fans there that home field advantage they had in week 18 gone love debo i like jimmy g they had a nice run but 
but this is this is destiny and this is Matthew Stafford's time. So you think they're they have a big home field advantage and they're gonna win this game because they're not selling tickets to Niners fans? Yeah, LA LA is getting hyped for their for their squad. They haven't had a football team be this good, you know, with this much potential in a, in a minute. Let's get the bidding going. Jacob, if he wants no part of this, Tyler, parlay. I I love I love No, he, he doesn't four. love it. He doesn't I love, love it, Jacob. I love four out of four, Jacob. Because oh, yeah. guess what? Sony Michelle was my teammate back in high school Ooh. on my seven on seven flag football team. So humble brag. There's uh there's you know I, I'm, I'm in that's that's what he's in for the fourth deal so I'm gonna start the building off at sixty three dollars precise very precise what do you think Alex uh I'll go up to a hundred I'll go up to a hundred because I I really like three out of these four and frankly I'm gonna have money on the Niners this would be a nice little hedge and at plus two thousand one hundred and six there was some good juice there, so I'll I'll up it to a hundred. A hundred dollars? Are you serious? You're gonna offer him a hundred dollars? I'm so, doubling that. Two hundred dollars. Wow. Two hundred and ten dollars, wow. Jacob. Matt, how how much do you love Detroit? I love Detroit more than any city in America. Two hundred and fifty dollars. I'm gonna match him. I'm gonna go two fifty because All I right. love three out of these four. I'm gonna have my money on the Niners, and I'd like to hedge it with with uh having the Rams money line here too. I'll match him. All right, Jacob. We got Matt here who fully believes in you. Four out of four. You got Alex Day here that believes three out of four of your picks. I, I can appreciate the faith in the first three, Alex, but you you are due for that clunker before the Super Bowl. Oh and my an emotional gosh. hedge. An emotional hedge on the Niners. You having the money on the Niners, it sounds like a you problem. I don't think I've met anybody that bleeds harder for the, the city of Detroit than Matt James. I gotta go with my guy. Let's there go! It is. There it is. Four Dude, weeks pal. of <laughs> Alex Day not being able to get a bet off. Detroit's I can't, I can't finest. Buy a Love this. Here. When this parlay hits, two fifty will pay out to over fifty five hundred dollars. Make that money, Jacob. Money. Make that money, Jacob. I'll see you boys over for the Super Bowl. On the line, we have David calling in from Chicago. Now it says here that when David's parlay hits, he's going to go all in on the Rams, which is funny because the Rams might not make it to the Super Bowl. But if the Rams win and his parlay hits. All of his bread is going on the Rams. What's your uh, what's your parlay for us today, David? All right, so I got the Rams minus three and a half. I got the Bengals Chiefs under 54 and a half. I got OBJ over 50 and a half receiving yards. I got Jimmy G under 234 and a half passing yards. And I got Cam Akers to score a touchdown. Couple props, couple uh, couple spreads. The odds on this five-legged parlay are plus 2,301, so $100 will pay out to over $2,400. $250 will pay out to over $6,000. Nice little chunk of change to have on Matty Stafford in the Super Bowl, huh? Matt, what are your thoughts on this parlay? All right, David. I like this a lot. I, um, I, there's a lot here that I see that I like. I like what I see, and I see what I like. Uh, the Rams, minus three and a half. Very obtainable. I love the Bengals Chiefs under. I am in the area of thinking that's going to be a low scoring game. Love the Odell Beckham pick. Cam Akers is overdue for a touchdown. If you can hold on to the ball. Granted, oh, you can and here we ball. go. Here we go, David. But you see how I saved uh, a space right here where you've. Uh, here we go, David. You've decided to uh, slander Jimmy Garoppolo. And um, I don't take lightly the Jimmy G slander on this show. Let me tell you something. In nine of the 16 games this season, Jimmy G has thrown for over 230 yards. I wasn't great at math, but that's over 50%. Just and barely. the first meeting of the LA Rams and the 49ers, Jimmy G threw for over 314 yards. What do you have to say for yourself? Hey, what about the second meeting? The second meeting <laughs> is irrelevant. <laughs> Why is Jimmy G going under? They played a few weeks ago. I think the Rams are going to know everything that the 49ers are going to throw at them. In that case, you got to go with which team is more talented. I think the Rams' talent on defense is going to shut down the 49ers' offense. Jimmy G's going under. Like it. Tyler? How confident are you in these Rams? Do you want them to win the Super Bowl? Very. They're peaking, and there's a thing in the NFL now about the home team winning it all. Had it happen last year with the Bucs, I think it happens two years in a row. So just because it happened once, it's now a trend? Yes. Once, once is yeah, it's gonna be a trend. Once is good enough for me. Once is good enough for me. Take yeah. all of our money. I'm not mad at that. Um, we got Odell Beckham hitting over fifty and a half. I like the way he's been playing this year. Um, 
you know, he's he's got Matt Stafford ripping it to him. 49ers got a solid defense, though. So, the one thing I can't get behind Jimmy on G. this whole bet. The Jimmy G part? No, I love Jimmy G going under that. Jimmy G might not get over 100 yards passing. But uh, what I what I don't like here is Cam Akers, anytime touchdown. The guy is slashing, dashing, gashing, getting yards. But when they get to the goal line, they hand it off to somebody. But also, he's got a case of the fumbles. Yeah. And, and I think yeah. I think they're going to lose a little bit of faith in giving him the ball, especially in important situations now. Why is Cam Akers going to score a touchdown? He's averaging over 20 carries in the postseason since he's been back. He hasn't gotten the end zone yet. I feel like it's only a matter of time. Yes, he had the fumbles last week, but they did go back to him after he fumbled the first time. Hopefully they, they realize that they need him to win it all, get some confidence in him. I think he gets it in this week. They tried that, and it didn't work. They, yeah, they almost blew it they at the end. They almost blew it again. Almost blew it at the end. You know, I'm a little iffy on the Acres pick. To be honest with you, I love the Niners. I love the Niners because if you think about it, Jimmy G is obviously a liability. He's Jimmy G. But the rest of the Niners team is loaded, and they can run on anyone, any time of day, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. They can run on anyone, and I like the Niners to pull the upset. Why are the Rams going to do it? Fair enough. I just think all of their talent is peaking at the right time. You got Cooper Cup playing at an all NFL level. You have Odell stepping up as a nice second banana. And the Rams have been able to stop everyone on defense. Aaron Donald's still the best player in the NFL. I think he just shuts down the 49ers. Defense. Sorry, what is Odell? A second banana? He's a nice second banana to Cooper Cup. I've never heard that. What, what does that mean? He's a second banana. Mean? He's just a nice, he's a sidekick. He's a sidekick, but a very good sidekick. Sec I think Second we're just going to start saying that. You know, I usually am very combative with the Jimmy G slander, but, you know, I'm going to set that aside for the greater good of this bet right now, and I'm going to start the bidding out at $20. Wow. Cute. Cute. Tyler? 25 bucks. 25 bucks. Wow. That's how you bid 30. 25 bucks. Uh, I'll go 30 bucks. I'll go 40. <laughs> 45. No, I'm out. <laughs> I'm out. Out? I'm out. You're out? I'm out. 45 bucks. 45 bucks. 45 bucks. Out, Tyler. Tyler to David. When this parlay hits, it'll pay out to over a thousand dollars. Thousand bucks going on Stafford and the Rams in the Super Bowl, assuming they win. Wish you the best of luck this Sunday. All right. Thanks, boys. On the line we have Isabel calling from New York City. It says here that when Isabel's parlay hits. She's just going to have a big old night out on the town. Love that. Count me in. Nothing better than that. Love that. Isabel, you. what's your parlay for us today? All right. My picks are Kansas City minus seven, going LA Rams money line, and Kansas City Bengals over 54 and a half. Nice little three team parlay. Odds on this are plus 469. So $100 will pay out to $569. $250 would pay out to over $1,400. Tyler, what are your thoughts on this parlay? It's about, I like it. You know, uh, you have the Rams money line, which I don't trust them to cover three and a half points against the 49ers because they're just going to play good D. It's going to be a, it's going to be a tight game. It's going to be like it was in Green Bay, uh, but the Rams are going to win. I agree. Um, Kansas City minus seven. That one's hard for me. That one's hard for me. It's a lot it's of tough. points. It's, it's a, a lot, lot of points to give up. A lot of points. points. A lot of points. Why do you feel so confident about Kansas City? I kind of would prefer to have Kansas City at six and a half, but I see this being a shootout. I think the Chiefs offense is the best in the league. Mahomes is going to have a big day. Um, they're used to being in the AFC championship, and home is enough for them to cover, honestly. I like it. I like it. I, six and a half would definitely be better than a, than seven, but, you know, Kansas City can score. They, they just run the touchdown play if they just ever want to score. Just run the touchdown play. Matt? I, I, I'm in agreement with, with both of these men right here. I think that Kansas City can score at will. So, like, the seven is so much points. But, you know, they're liable to freaking strike the band up at any point in the game. Wait, sorry, they're what? Strike the band up. You know, if they score, score, you strike score the touchdown. band up. Got it, got it, got it. Okay, you, cool. You, you didn't play college football. Play football. No, okay. I didn't play college football. It was football. baseball. Okay. Baseball. They don't have bands. Yeah. Oh, that's no right. bands. Yeah. No bands. Yeah, go on. I know. Let's celebrate. All right. Rams, money line. I like that pick a lot because I think the Rams are going to win. I don't know if they're going to win by three and a half. Um Trying to get comfortable with this over, though, because I think that, you know, everyone's expecting this, you know, fireworks show. But I could see both teams being very conservative because if the Chiefs blow it to the Bengals, then they're the laughing stock of the league. And if the Bengals try to do a little bit too much, then Kansas City's going to capitalize on their mistakes. So I could see it being a very low scoring game. So w what are your thoughts on this over right here? Well, for starters, Patrick Mahomes, 
Texas family. He is absolutely on fire right now, period. If he can drop 42 on the number one defense in the NFL, I think he's going to drop quite a few against the Bengals. Um, Burrow should also have a big day throwing the ball. And I just think that these teams have the two best passing offenses in the league, and it's going to be a really high-scoring game. I like the total. I, I like over 54 and a half. I feel kind of wishy-washy about Kansas City covering, but I, I haven't decided how I feel about that. But my pick of the weekend, I think the 49ers are winning. Wow. I think the 49ers are beating the Rams. There. I said it. I said it. Mm, wow. You really think they're going to beat the same team three times in one season? Ooh, that's but, a great point. But, but a great Kyle point. Shanahan has just absolutely owned Sean McVay throughout his career. They're like best friends, and one can't beat the other. He just has his number. So, I, you know, it's, it's a pattern. I don't know. I think at this point they have film on how San Francisco used Devo against the Cowboys. New England, they're at home this time. It's a different game. I'm confident in that one. Your, your confidence is, is very, very convincing. Um, Tyler, would you like to start out the betting? Alex, would you? Just given the fact that I think the 49ers are going to win, I don't know how much money I could put on this. There's, so you're not in. So you're out. Are you saying you're not going to you know put what? any money on this? I'll, uh, he, I'll, just, I'll, he doesn't believe in you, Isabel. Uh, Isabel wow, Isabel, that's crazy. I'll he doesn't believe in you, Isabel. I'll start out the bidding with 25 bucks because 20, you're doing a great wow. job of convincing me. I'm a little unsure about some of it, but I'll start it out with 25 bucks. I think that he lowballed you, Isabel, and I apologize on behalf of Alex for making such a disrespectful offer to you. I'm going to double that offer and give you $50. I apologize wow. on Alex's behalf. The knight behalf. of shining on I apologize. All right, all right. Isabel, I, your bets have made the most sense all day, okay? Everything I've seen is a little crazy, but if I was a betting man, this is something I would probably put my money on. Are you a betting man? I am a betting man that loses quite often, so I need someone to reverse the curse for me, all right, Isabel? I'm hoping that's you, so I'm going to come at you with $75. Matt? I was the first one to believe in you. You have enough because you're a Texas guy. I don't know if you were the first to believe in me, but I'm listening. You have my attention. Are you doubting me? I'm out. Oh. I'm, out. Wow. I'm out. I'm out. Wow. I'm out. I'm, I'm not going to pass 75. Tyler, I think this is all you, man. Isabel, me and you, we got this? We got this. Right, let's make this money, Isabel. Let's, let's go. go. Oh let's God. go. Let's go. Five bucks let's from go. Tyler to Isabel. <laughs> when this hits, it'll pay out to over $400. That's a nice little night out on the town. I yes. mean, invite me out when you do it, Isabel. I'll be right there with you. You're, you'll need it all for the covers for the places that Tyler goes, but you'll still have a good time <laughs> once you're in there. Thank you, guys. If you have a big ticket that needs to get funded, if you have a winner that you just need to come on the show and tell us about, email us at parlayhotseat at itsovertime.com. Comment on this video. DM Tyler. DM Matt. No purchase necessary. 21 years or older to enter. Visit overtime.tv slash contest. For the full rules. Have a good one. Have a good one. Don't stop. Hey, don't stop. Hey, hey. You know the drops don't stop and neither do the blessings, y'all. If you want to get dripped and fitted like your boy, all you got to do is click the link over here. Also, don't forget to subscribe this away and check out more fire videos over here. While y'all do that, I'm going to tell my mama I'm on overtime.